Even though scraping is hard enough as it is, because you've got to parse all this, you know, HTML or JSON or whatever information exists, there is the struggle of just having the infrastructure, so all the proxies and all that, to set up to do it really easily. In the real world, you're going to run into many obstacles. For example, the website may detect that you are a bot, you're scraping data, and they may block you. Or maybe the website that you're trying to scrape is geographically restricted and you cannot access it from your location. An additional reason it can be difficult to scrape a site is when pages are created dynamically, like in React and would change based on certain variables or even browser sizes, kind of like for Airbnb. So we'll let it take another screenshot, uh, but it tries to verify us because it sees that we're trying to make loads of requests over and over. So if you are scraping data based on the structure of the HTML, it's very common that it can change and in turn break your application. Every time I attempted to do this, my IP address got blocked, I got stuck behind captures, and I just got completely denied and shut out of the website after just a few attempts at scraping. That's where the scraping browser comes in. It's a remote browser that uses the proxy network to avoid these problems. My project uses Node.js and Puppeteer, but you you can also use Python and Playwright. The overall idea is that it's just a super easy way to click whatever data you need because the website thinks that the scraping browser is a real user. It outsmarts any bot detection software out there by utilizing AI to automatically learn to adapt and bypass these systems.